Once again, our starting point is the latest inter-Korean discussions that were held this morning at the border. This comes right after the two sides held their first general-level military talks of this decade. Let's go straight to our Park Hee-jun, who has been following the process since the preparation stages. Hee-jun, what can you tell us at this point? Right, Daniel. Today's discussions were centered on sports exchanges between the two Koreas. The talks began at around 10 a.m. at the Peace House, the South Korean building located in the Chus village of Panmunjom, and have lasted pretty much all day. Now, the outcomes of the talks came in just moments ago. The two Koreas agreed to host an inter-Korean basketball game on June 4th in Pyongyang, and another one in Seoul in the fall. This comes after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un proposed holding inter-Korean basketball games in a summit with South Korean President Moon Jae-in. And during the talks, the two sides also agreed to march together under the Korean unification flag for the opening and closing ceremonies of the upcoming 2018 Asian Games in Indonesia, as they did for the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. They will also form joint teams for the Asian Para Games. South and North Korea will have follow-up negotiations for these events through the exchange of documents and will do their best to carry out the agreements. The talks are part of ongoing efforts by the two Koreas to implement the Panmunjom Declaration from the April 27th Inter-Korean Summit. And because the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics is seen as the impetus that led to the recent peace talks on the Korean Peninsula, the two Koreas will be focused on carrying on the momentum of sports cooperation to strengthen their ties. And the results of today's talks will likely be an important stepping stone for their relations as well. That's all I have for you now. Back to you, Daniel.